All right, so the first two packages arrived for this XS650 build. Let's jump on in and see what it is because this sucker is ready to get started. These are the AirPods, which will give it a nice look. We can be able to get rid of the big plastic air box and go with something a little more stylish. We got two of these. You can rip that air box out. And these things will uh, tidy up the whole look. Second package has arrived, which I believe are the shocks. This bike came with zero shocks. So you may have saw the previous clips. I had a piece of wood holding up the frame off the rear tire. This is my first time ordering these types of shocks and I hope they fit, uh, but we'll see how these guys go. Well, they surely look cool. Uh, could be a nice little touch. Or I might throw these in my Bonneville and throw my old Bonneville shocks on that. Because this uh, color kind of goes with the amber headlight and the decal I got on my Bonneville. So we may steal these and throw my old shocks on the Yamaha. So I just got back from the pool and had a nice little surprise at the house. This box just showed up and what this XS650 was missing was a gas tank amongst many things. So jumped on eBay, got this guy, got this trusty uh, Benchmade Griptilian. Let's jump into this guy. And there we have it, the Yamaha XS 650 gas tank. I got this one because it had a cast cap in the hinge. It also had the dual pet cocks. It's in great shape. Had both the side um, pieces here. And the paint job, as great as it is, I'm gonna be taking this to bare metal. Surprise, surprise. If you've watched any of my builds, you know that's kind of a staple for me, taking it to bare metal. Just kind of has a raw, industrial, almost airplane look. And so we're gonna do that, get this to bare metal, and put it on this bike. But just so we have an idea of how it's going to look, we'll do a little mock-up right now. And let's set this tank. And there we have it. All right, so I'm going to jump into some of the, what I would call standard Cafe Racer staples, which would be new handlebars, grips, amber headlight. That's kind of my personal preference, AirPods. So I'm going to start tearing some things off before we start putting some things together. The teardown process is always fun and rewarding and putting it back together, sort of putting the icing on the cake. Let's jump in. First things first, I like to keep the hands non-greasy as possible with some little uh, rubber or latex shop gloves.
All right, so the best part in builds is getting the things delivered. And today we got this uh, vintage tread style uh, front tire for this bike. Now, if it didn't need tires, I wouldn't put it on here. It's unnecessary. But if you're gonna get a tire, might as well get it looking uh, vintage and cool. So I'll pull this front wheel off the XS650 and bring it to my tire guy. Okay, so with these bikes, I always take the front fender off anyways, just to lighten it up, clean it up, simplify the bike. It's gotta come off before we take the tire off anyways. So we're gonna lose the fender, get this front wheel off and take the tire to my tire guy. Let's get this fender off. All right, so one of the cool things today is, is picking up packages from the port. Package number one. Package number one is our go-to Vans gum grips, which are gonna be so much better than these uh, orange looking ones that turned up. I don't know what happened there. Orange is not a color I ever go with, but for this is classic gum rubber grip. And uh, yeah, it matches the gum rubber in the bar. So those will be going on a bike today. We're gonna to get the old uh, saws off. We're gonna get rid of this wood blade. Let's give them some more packages. Package number two, pipe wrap. Got some two inch white exhaust wrap with the metal uh, ties. Another clean piece of this bike. Last but not least, we've got this seat hoop. Now this I believe is aluminum. And we got some of these lugs, so we're gonna trim a little bit back of the frame, set this up, and we'll begin to make the outline the template for our seat pan. So with uh, getting the saws off, you're really trying to take some of the extra tabs, metal tabs off. It doesn't take much weight, but it cleans up the look in a lot of little ways. So let's uh, get chopping on this bike.
uh, with the seat back from upholstery, that wraps this project up. As you know, we put a seat hoop on the back of this frame, used a pizza box to trace out the design, transfer that to an old street sign, not a solid metal kind, but one that's made out of plastic. It's kind of bendable, uh, maybe it's some rubber, and then sent it to upholstery for a black diamond pattern. This kind of has a leather texture, but it is a vinyl. I love how it cleaned the whole look of the bike up. We got a bit of old and rusted with new and polished. We got air pods, a little bit of pipe wrap, a new vintage tire, LED turn signals, vans, gum grips, amber headlights, took the tank almost to bare metal, clear coat of it. I love how this turned out. Like I said, this is one of my favorite bikes. It was a fun project. It was nice to take it from neglected, forgotten, dead on arrival to bringing it back to life piece by piece. If you liked the video, give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.